Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. This is uh, 2004 uh, Jaguar Type S, and today I'm going to change the valve cover gasket. So, uh, the first step would be is to remove that oil cap in order for you to remove this cover, the engine cover, and there's a screw right here, and then a screw right here, and screw them, and then just pull it out. And so, the next step would be is to uh, pull this uh, air intake so I'm going to remove this screw right here loosen the screw so I can move this out of the way I'm going to push this just like so so that's disconnected and I'll be able to pull this out so I have plenty of room to pull the, uh, the valve cover <clears throat> and then after that I'm going to remove this bolt that bolt the bolt for the coils so we can remove I can remove the coils and the next step would be is to remove the uh, this the brackets here and then the brackets here and and in the back there right there so on un unbolt that it's kind of like the harness is connected to that bolt there so I'm going to unbolt that and move that out of the way and then remove the bolts for the valve cover that should be it alright alright guys so coil plugs are out of the way even the brackets and then the brackets there I'm going to disconnect this and then this harness this harness was clipped into this hole right here right into this hole and so make some room so you can remove the bolts that harness in the back there is also out so remove that one bolt two bolt three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, twelve because I missed this and I missed that. Alright, so there's twelve bolts to remove in total. Okay, so I'm going to remove those and show you guys how to remove the valve cover in a bit. Alright, guys, so I forgot to tell you guys to disconnect this line here connected to the uh, intake. And so I've got all the bolts uh, loose already, so I'm going to remove it one by one. Oh. I guess they won't come out. Yeah, the bolts aren't coming out. <clears throat> but they're all loose, alright. All the bolts are loose. Okay. No, oh, the middle one you can remove. Just pull it, pull it out like that. Here are the bolts, and now we can. Uh, I can start using my flathead and prying them up, so I we can I can remove it. So there it is. I'm going to remove it. Uh, yeah, so you just basically be very careful because there is the sensor right here. Make sure that you don't damage that. Make sure this, that the harness are out of the way and I can't film it. I'll try anyway. Hang on. Okay guys, so this is the uh, second bank. Bank 1, bank 2 right here. I'm doing the the easiest bank because I need to find out if the parts that I have is correct okay so that's why I'm doing this side first okay so I'm gonna try and remove this one right now very very carefully um, there's the uh, 
There's, I guess, this is a fuel line right here, so be very, very careful with that. And so it's out. This too is disconnected from here, so you might want to disconnect that. Alright, so that's what it looks like right there. There you go. Okay hey guys, so that's the valve cover. And now So this is the spark plug seal. It's a one piece actually, so pull the rubber gasket out. And as you're pulling this out the uh the bolts start to come out because they are retained by by the gasket just like that and I think that the, uh, all the bolts are all the same size so. there you go yes yes all the bolts are the same there you go just like that kind of brittle so you might want to have like some pick to just start opening and then it will just come out popping. Alright so there it is guys. Alright, so this is the part that I got from Rob Auto. It's a complete set. Alright, so it comes with all these. Uh, for some reason, the gasket appears to have this rubber gasket also and the shoe is that I don't know let's see. anyway so start off with putting it on alright alright guys so um, the gasket kit that I had earlier wasn't the right one However, we have the the gasket, but it's not a complete gasket. It's only for the spark plug seal, which is this one right here. And that's the reason why we're even doing this because the spark plug is fouled with oil. Not in this bank, but on the other bank. It's so fouled with oil, like the spark plug is full of oil. So that's why I told the the owner to buy a spark plug seal and so he did, he did that and he got it from Jaguar and this is the right one right here um, as for the valve cover gasket it's still actually good it's not brittle it's very soft so I'm not gonna change it so I'm not gonna worry about it alright and this bank is actually the good one the other bank is the faulty one with the spark plug seal alright so, with all said and done, this is done, and I'm gonna prepare the, the surface, actually uh, put the bolt back in, just basically have, have your two finger here, holding on the gas can, and So 
so just like that so just take your time doing that so bolts in so it goes in this way so I actually hold it like this so this this part right here is exposed on this side and while you're doing that you want to try to push the gasket in place just like this so. like that alright guys so do that and all all 12 bolts and then I'll show you guys the next step in a bit all right guys so before I put the valve cover back on I'm going to prep the surface here so I'm gonna clean this surface here surface there it's gonna be clean and right at the back there and also I'm also going to put silicone Put silicone here so I'll, I'll make sure that this is super clean I'm gonna put silicone here silicone there silicone here so that's that's going to be super clean and silicone here all right so I'll get started with cleaning up and then I'll show you guys how to put it on all right guys so it's, it's clean so as you can see I already put silicone there and there here and here all right so I'm gonna put the valve cover back on Just line up the bolts, make sure that they are all in with your finger. Just drag them in. I'm just gonna drag them in, then I'll use my power tools. Alright, so they're in. Now I can use my gun just to drive them in.
sure not to over torque it guys the roll of thumb don't put your hands here just put your hands here nice and tight just like that just like that Okay, all done. So this is done. I'm going over to the next bank. I'm going to show you guys what to remove. So we're basically going to remove the intake. We're going to remove that intake manifold. So to do that, I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> 